You know what's crazy? Uh, so the audience coordinator, like before I came out, was like, hey, like there's a, there's a dude here who looks like your twin. But the whole taping, I was like, <laughs> like there's like seven. <laughs> and like you, you, like I'm like, I don't know who it is. The whole time I was looking for that. Where is it? Where's the twin? Is the twin? <laughs> this is the twin? This is the guy everyone's like, he's the guy? Right here? Stand on stage, let's see. Let's. Yeah. How are you? What's your name? Rob. Rob? Yeah. All right, get it on this camera. Let's see it. No? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, all right, all right next one, next one. Yeah, you, dude, you, yeah. There was two people online. Oh, this is too much. This is too much. Oh, come on. I can't wait to Okay, okay, okay. Wait, do it. Let's go to. All right, let's go to this camera. Let's go to this camera. Go to this is so fucking crazy. Are we, oh, are we looking in the same way? Go, 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 go. All right, what? Put your hand, put it in this pocket, and then just do this. No? I think we look the same. Okay, Eddie, what do you think? What do you think? It's, it won't be racist if you say it's yes. Yeah. Come on, there we do. We the beer, we the, let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it on the phone. Oh, come on, dude! I'm having fun. <laughs> This is a strange question. If everyone lost the ability to sneeze, how long would it take for us to realize it? <laughs> Dude, I would just assume, you know what? I think we would just assume we're super healthy. Like, oh, I'm, I, I don't sneeze because I'm super healthy. That's all. How long do you think? Six months. Six months? You would legitimately have that thought. Wow, I haven't sneezed in. A good half year. Would you miss it? Would you miss sneezing? Would it be like one of those things, like remember like in Children of Men, there's no kids? Would we, would we long for sneezing the, like the way they do in that? There was one person on earth who could sneeze. Are your sneezes weird? Mine sound like, like I sound like a little mouse, you know? I try to like hide it, I'm like, eh. <laughs> do you know how some people have like really loud ones? Yeah, what's yours like? You've never been told? Every time I've sneezed, people are like, are you all right? <laughs> so do you have a secret? Like you're hiding it. You know what? The scariest thing about sneezing is the fact that you'll do it when you're driving. How are more people just not dying? <laughs> Every time you just switch lanes on a sneeze? <laughs> Think about how many like car accidents should be happening just because of that. Dude, if you're an atheist and you don't believe, like I'm, every time I've like sneezed while changing a lane and I live, I'm like, dude, there is a God. This is like, <laughs> For sure, for sure. What is a weird NYC subway talent you wish you could have? Um, it would definitely be the dudes with the boom boxes doing flips. And then sometimes on the subway, there's the dude who can like hang vertically and, do, and go perpendicular, can go full 90 degrees. That's, that's pretty dope. Um, I get nervous though, because they usually you know, ask for money. And I have like, you know, I'll stare. <laughs> I just have this problem where I'll just stare. A lot of us have that problem, right? Indian people just stare. <laughs> and they'll always be like, oh, this guy, this guy's having a good time. And I'm like, I am, no. <laughs> like, I'm having the best time right now. <laughs> Where's the money at? And I'll always panic because I don't have cash. Like, nobody carries cash these days. Sometimes I'll be like, do you take Venmo? And they're like, no, <laughs> you gotta get to the next car. I'm like, I'm sorry. You know what's wild to me? The fact that we don't want to engage with them, and yet most people are like scrolling on Twitter, but you would watch somebody doing crazy backflips on your phone, <laughs> but we wouldn't want to see it live. Isn't that weird? Do we hate, so, is it the choice? Is the fact that you have, oh, be able to opt in. <laughs> You're like, I don't want people backflipping it. Yeah. Is commuting the worst part of living in New York? What's your commute? Uh huh. Like 40 oh man. Yeah. When I first moved to New York, that was the one piece of advice everyone gave me. They're like, just don't commute. Live across the street from work. And I actually did that. I lived in Times Square. <laughs> yeah, I was right by the Daily Show. So every day, I just saw like people dressed up as M and M's. I, it was. I was like, is this New York City? And then Michael Che told me. He lived literally across the street 
And I was like, I gotta move across the street. Like even 10 blocks is too much. So I moved across the street and then I convinced every other correspondent to move into that building. <laughs> it was very clutch. It's like a two minute commute, it's incredible. I mean, Manhattan is very boring, but. Like that part of Manhattan, this part of this area is pretty, pretty boring, but. I had to come to, like I came to a, just a point in my life because Jessica Williams was like, move to Brooklyn, everyone's cool in Brooklyn. And I really had to like look myself in the mirror and I'm like, I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm not that cool, I'm not gonna do cool things. Would you rather have to rock the Zuckerberg haircut for an entire year or go one full winter in which your only footwear option is Crocs? <laughs> Crocs, 100% Crocs. They're on my feet and they're really comfortable. I don't care what people say, they're super comfortable. I have them at home, they're great. They're great for dry or wet situations. They're awesome. Um, yeah, damn, Anjali, do you not, you also find Zuckerberg's hairline super weird? Uh, yes, but honestly, I think I might do the hair. You would do the hair more than Crocs? No, I mean, really? I just use my feet. It's cold. <laughs> you, 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 okay, your rule wasn't Crocs all the time, it was just wear Crocs. Oh, or go one full winter in which your only, oh, I'm sorry, like reading comprehension, I'm sorry. Go one full winter in which your only footwear option is Crocs. I'll double up on socks and do Crocs. I'll double up on socks and do Crocs. No socks? You're changing the rules, you can't just do that. You're like, no socks. And we chop off one of your feet. Now what? No, come on. You just said Crocs. I go double, really? You would want to see me with the weird ass, like his Caesar that's off? It's not even, like, Come on, dude, you went to Harvard. The angle isn't even right, it's not even straight. I think it's a power move. He's just like, yeah, say something about it. All right, what's your hottest take that you're afraid to tell people? Oh, wow. That's like a Reddit question, where you're like, all right, anonymous. What do you really feel about the world? Look, I have a lot of hot takes, but um, there was this video, actually. It was over the Thanksgiving holiday. Did you guys see it, of that one guy at the Thanksgiving table? and he had a bunch of hot takes. Do you see this on Twitter? Just play it real quick. Like, let's say there was a, like, apex predator like Bigfoot. There would be, like, thousands of them. There would only be a few. Aliens are an absolute certainty. And then they ever explain the universe the probability of human life, that you can agree humans exist, right? You're here. Okay. That probability is so low. Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein, do you see like the two cops, the two prison guards got arrested? Oh, for, uh, yeah. Oh, this, why do why people do swimming pools? Go to, go to the beach, y'all. <laughs> Russia, 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 you have our election. This is 100%. So I was on Twitter, I'm like, this guy's incredible, he needs to do deep cuts with me. I went down the rabbit hole, I'm like, who is he? His name's Bashir, all right, find Bashir, there's a lot of Bashirs, and I found him, and he came to the taping. <laughs> this is Bashir, this is the dude. This is what Deep Cuts is all about. It's just pure passion, no evidence to back it up. <laughs> Bashir, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing well, Thank man. you for coming from DC, man. Did you, did you know that this clip was just gonna go crazy like this? Oh, not at all. Really? Yeah. Did you know your sister was recording you? Not until like, I mean, that was like an hour and a half conversation. She cut really? off. Like, it was the whole dinner. Like, My favorite part was when you're, you're just like, they're definitely aliens. <laughs> Think of the statistical probability of us being here. You believe we're here, right? I'm like, that is such. That is. Such. I had to convince so, them. This is just real, right? <laughs> oh my god! And then I know. Are those your family members around you? Yeah. Like cousins and stuff like that. Uh, the burly bearded dude is like a cousin, right, or something like that. Uh, it's my brother. It's your brother. Uh, yeah. I could so tell. Like he's the one who's like he's sat. He was just like. <laughs> your mom's reaction was incredible. Is she just tired of it? I, you know, she's learned to love me. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I gotta ask you, I wanna hear about some of your hot takes, okay? All right, I'm in. Here we go. Um, this is from the video. What's your take on aliens in Area 51? Aliens are out there, 100%. I don't know about Area 51. I don't trust the government. You shouldn't, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> ma mathematically, Fermi's paradox, like, read into it, like, mathematically, it's a certainty. <laughs> It's all but a certainty. <laughs> what do you mean it's all but a certainty? Like, it, the universe is ever expanding. Okay. Right? And we are here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, <I> like, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> so, bro, that was such, that was such like a Middle Eastern uncle move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Yeah, I believe it. And so, there's at least one 
chance, one outcome where it has worked in the whole universe. Uh -huh. And if it's like ever expanding, it's going to happen again if it hasn't already. I believe it. Look, I believe it. It's like, I believe it, but I also, it's a 50-50. Well, see, there's a Space Force now. Uh, yeah, making that. I'm yeah just saying. that's never going to happen, man. Come on. <laughs> Apex Predators? So that's Bigfoot. So Bigfoot. Wait. wait. <laughs> Bigfoot is, is, is called an apex predator? He is a apex predator. One of them. And what are the other ones? I don't know. Humans and <laughs> sharks. We're, we're an apex predator. You're going to put Bigfoot squids. and humans on the same level. <laughs> For real? I'm sorry, Mom. Um, like, but it's just something that, like, it's the top of the food chain. And the reasoning to why Bigfoot exists, <laughs> tying it to apex predators, is that's why we don't necessarily like see the fossils or know for sure it's around. Like there wouldn't be a lot of them. Like only a few would survive. I don't, <laughs> Dude, tell me why there's a Yeti and a Sasquatch. Like, okay, like <laughs> the myth is like throughout the world. What? <laughs> for real. What do you mean there is a Yeti and a Sasquatch? Singular? There's like, one? Like, the, like, like the oh, you gotta, you gotta go to They're... Beijing. They have the Yeti there. What do you mean by that? Like, like the stories like lasted through like different like cultures. Like sure. Pacific Northwest of the US. Okay. Like, and then like out in like Southern, Southeast Asia. Like, yes. It's there like in Nepal and whatnot. Yeah. Like, so mermaids exist too? Yeah, yeah, vampires. Yeah, vampires, shut, come yeah, on. No, no. <laughs> All right, swimming pools are better than the beach. Yo, that's, that's the most important. Yeah, swimming pools are horrible. Why? Yeah. Why are they horrible? All right, it's, it's a hole in the ground yeah. with bodily fluids and, like, dead skin that you have to, like, chemically treat to make them usable. Like, just Versus use the ocean. The ocean, <laughs> Where, the ocean at least it has, whales, it has whale shit in it. It has fish shit in it. Trillions and trillions of ga gallons of water. So you're done. You, do you have, did you have a bad experience with swimming pools? My, my dad was obsessed with pools. We'd go to like, like South Carolina. We'd be like five minutes from the beach. Okay. And he'd insist like we go to spend the day at the pool. <laughs> like, so just say that. <laughs> All right, what's your take on bread bowls? Uh, amazing, I love them. Dude. They're great, yeah, bread that's bowls are great. great. That's a great one, yeah, uh, bread bowls are legit. They're very divisive though, people are like, fuck bread bowls, it's too much bread, not enough soup. No, penicillin, like bread iPhones, bread bowls, same. Penicillin, <laughs> iPhones, and bread bowls? Greatest inventions ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's incredible, man. Uh, dudes who wear backwards hats. <laughs> So I, 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 ran, <laughs> I get it, like they're douchebags or whatever, or like fuck boys. <laughs> I ran my student government campaign in college with like a backwards cap as like the approachable guy. Like we won, so like I can't like shit on it too much. That was how you, what school did you go to? Uh, University of Cincinnati, go Bearcats. So that's how you, you're like, I have to connect to Ohio voters, <laughs> put on a backwards cap. <laughs> really? And you won. Barely. Oh, 60 votes. <laughs> By 60 votes? But, but university, that's dope, dude. So you won president. Yeah. You're a Muslim president. Yeah. Are you serious? That's gangster. You pulled it off? Yeah. yeah. Dude, Good you did people. what? Damn, and you didn't even have to like Barack it? Like, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was the Barack, opposite. come home, yeah. come home. Yeah. Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. Oh, dude, I'd die for Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't get it until I saw you the show. You would die for Baby Yoda. I mean, uh, I, I'd kill for Baby Yoda. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're like, look, I don't want to take my life. I would commit manslaughter. <laughs> All right, these were takes that you sent us. All right. You sent our producers. High top tables suck. They're the worst. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it during the Patriot Act, like about stools. Like, the stools are suck. bullshit. Stools are Dude, fucking Dude, first of all, you're garbage. a tall guy. Imagine most people are shorter than you. It's it's heightest. High, high top tables. What? You ever a high top table? You drop something. You gotta get like down, like do the whole thing. Like, all right. The Office is a depressing TV show. Yeah. What yeah is I don't like. I don't like The Office. Yeah. yeah I don't like The Office. Right. Dude, there, The Office. Steve Carell. That, Steve that Carell's version? awesome. Sure, the writers are great. I never got into it from the beginning. But you're telling me like you're gonna take The Office over Thirty Rock, like Parks and Rec, Seinfeld. Unbelievable. All right, whatever. You guys are sad. Do, convince guys, them, guys... convince them. Don't let them bully you. Make this your fucking Thanksgiving table. Tell us why the opposite is depressing. 
All right, all right. So in TV shows, you want to like see like the optimal like life or laugh or like see whatever that like you would enjoy for yourself. You're telling me you want to sell paper for the rest of your life. You want like a, a boss that like is pretty like incompetent and you just like laugh at him. Like it, it, it's a sad show when you like get down to the nitty, gr nitty gritty. Did you like Breaking Bad? I never saw Breaking Bad. Did you, did you like Did you like Game of Thrones? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you're, so you're motherfuckers are dying. We're talking about there's, there's no, incest no, they, and dragons. But there's like, the, and you're like, yeah, the job you want. Are you serious? I'd ride a dragon. Was it a tough decision to go back to the orig original pronunciation of Hassan? I wrote my college essay on my name, so I thought it was super interesting. Oh wow, that's heavy. This is from this is from this is you, Rob. No, it's me. Rob, you wrote your whole college essay. My lookalike. Yeah. yeah, but what's is it? Is your name Prov? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, I never know what to do here. so what do you do? So what do you do? You hit it with the full. For me, it was like this. Like I remember when I first started comedy, at the first open mics, there was this host. You'd write your name down, and he's like, "Look, man, nobody's gonna be able to pronounce this. You got to change your name." And I legit thought it was like a real thing. He's like, "Come on, man. You think there's a guy named Jamie Fox? He changed his name, and he did." So for like two months, I would go to open mics, and I was Sean. I'm like, dude, what am I doing? <laughs> Legit, I was like, ah, oh, I'm Sean, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sean, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I remember I, I, I kept trying to negotiate, right? So I was like, all right, Hassan. People can pronounce Hassan. And um, I don't know, it just got weirder and weirder. You know, I met so many people. Um, a lot of people, even in the Southeast Asian community, you'll have people who are like, this is my Chinese name, this is my American name. I'm like, dude, fuck that. Your name's your name. And then there's people like in my community, like there's Bobby Jindal. I'm like, bro, your name's not Bobby. <laughs> your name's Piyush, right? <laughs> but he went from Piyush and he just took a hard right and he's like, ah, I can't do that. Bobby. <laughs> it was like we had like a, an uncle in our community. His name was Iqbal. But then one time he picked up his cell phone. And he's like, hello, this is Alex. And I'm like, who the fuck is Alex? <laughs> and, um, but I would always have that like open mic host in my head, like, oh, you gotta do it to, to make it and all that stuff. And I remember being at Ellen, and my parents drove down from Sacramento to be there, like mom and dad are sitting there. I've been doing comedy 15 years, you know, and Ellen's just like, hey, Hassan. And I, I looked in the audience, and my mom's like kind of sitting right where you guys are. And she, she kind of cringed. You know, she left the VA, checked out of work, hey, I'm sick. <laughs> drives down to see her son on Ellen, and she's like, Hassan Minaj. And, and my mom, who gave me that name, is just like, ugh. And I'm like, dude, what am I doing? Like, I have a show with my fucking name on it, and I'm still being like, it's with Sean, <laughs> you know? And so I was like, all right, Ellen, just let's do this right now, because we can pronounce Timothy Chalamet, so we're gonna do this right now. And so, you know, I just had her do it. And uh, I didn't know it would be this like viral moment or whatever. But I remember my dad, when we drove home, he was super pissed at me. He's like, Hassan, you wasted your chance. You had seven minutes with her. For four minutes, you're correcting her. Why are you doing this? And I think that's like the big difference between our generation and our parents' generation. They're always trying to survive. I mean, survival is the thing. So just go by whatever she calls you. And that's cool. I think when dad, you know, when he came in 82, he survived for us. But I'm trying to live. I mean, I'm trying to like, yo, Muhammad Ali, say my name. Like, say it. <laughs> so I'm going to go on Ellen, the most American show ever, and make you hit all the syllables. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's like, for me. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you.